talked about opening up our spiritual eyes, exercising our spiritual sight, seeing people in our life from the right perspective. And today we're gonna to talk about inviting Jesus into our darkness. My son Barrett, when he was five years old, was scared of the dark. But when he was little, I remember one particular evening, he was like, Mom, I'm afraid of the dark. And I went in his room and I sat by his bed and I said, well, you know what? Jesus is with you. You don't have to be afraid. Invite him in, say a prayer to him and he'll give you peace. So I got up, proud of myself for my little pep talk, walked out of his room, gently shut the door and I heard Barrett scream, Mom, is he gonna come in here? And my husband and I die laughing about that story because kids are so literal. But so many times we're more afraid of Jesus coming into our darkness than we even are of the dark itself. I'm gonna tell a story about a man named Bartimaeus. Jesus was coming through a town called Jericho with an entourage of people. And this one man kept yelling over the crowd, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He was wanting Jesus to heal his blindness. Jesus called him over and said, sir, what do you want me to do for you? And the man said, I wanna see. And how do we apply this to our lives? There are areas of our life that we're holding in darkness. Maybe we have a coping mechanism that we don't wanna let go of and we know it's dysfunctional, but we think we need it. Or maybe there's an addiction or a secret and it's an area of darkness in our life. Let's pray today like Bartimaeus and say, Jesus, I wanna see. And the first thing Bartimaeus would have seen when his eyes were open was the face of Jesus. And he was so compelled and so amazed by his face that he followed him down the road. When our eyes are open and Jesus comes into our darkness, we're compelled to follow him to freedom. He doesn't come with condemnation. He comes with freedom. His goal is to set us free. So invite him into your darkness today. Follow him to freedom and be like Bartimaeus and say, Lord, I want to see you.